Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to use area models in order to represent multiplying fractions problems, and specifically fractions times fractions. So these area models are going to help us visualize what we're doing in these problems and how we get our answers. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here where we have three fourths times one third. And we're going to start with that three fourths. So let's write it along the top here. And we're going to cut our big square into fourths and we're going to go vertical, so up and down. And I'm going to try my best to create straight lines and cut into equal sections to represent fourths. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we have fourths there. Now we need to fill in three of them to represent that three fourths. And I'm going to use horizontal lines. And you'll see why here in a second when we do one third. And while I fill this in, you can use two colors. So one color for three fourths and then one color for one third. That way you can tell the difference between the two uh, easily. I'm just going to use different types of lines. Either works. So there's our three fourths filled in. Now we need to do one third. So let's come to the side, write one third. We're going to cut our square into thirds going side to side, horizontal now. So one third, two thirds, and three thirds. Now that we have the thirds drawn in, let's fill in one third. And I'm going to use diagonal lines here. That way I can tell the difference between my three fourths and the one third. So diagonal lines. So our area model is complete. Now we can get our answer from this. So we need to see how many sections overlap between one third and three fourths. And it's these three sections here. So three total sections overlap. That's going to be the numerator in our answer. The denominator is going to be how many total sections is in that big square. And we have a four by three, or three by four, however you wanna think of it. So you can do uh, four times three, which is 12. That We have 12 total sections in our big square. Or if you counted them individually, you'd get 12. So three twelves is our answer. So time to simplify if necessary. And here we can simplify. We have a common factor of three. So divide by three and we get one fourth. So our area model represents visually three fourths times one third or three fourths of one third. So let's try number two here where we have three fifths times two fourths. So we'll start with three fifths. We'll write that up top. Now we need to cut into fifths. And we need to fill in three of them. And I'll do horizontal lines here. One fifth. And again, you can use two different colors here. One color for three fifths and one the other color for two fourths. So there we have three fifths. So time for two fourths now. We'll write it along the side. Let's cut into fourths. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths. So now we need to fill in two of those fourths to represent the 2 fourths. And I will do diagonal lines again. So there we have 1 fourth and 2 fourths. So it looks like we have six sections that overlap. And again, however many sections overlap, that's our numerator, so six. And then the total amount of sections is our denominator. So it looks like we have a five by four, or four by five, however you wanna think of it. You'll get the same answer either way. And we have 20 as our denominator. Let's check to see if we can simplify. 
6 and 20 have a common factor of 2, so let's break this down, and we get 3 tenths. So there is our area model to represent the problem 3 fifths times 2 fourths. Now when we multiply a fraction by a fraction, we multiply straight across. So we would do 3 times 2 is 6, and 5 times 4 is 20. These area models help us visualize and see what's happening when we multiply a fraction by a fraction. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.